Welcome everyone to the second lesson. Today we are going to build our first Spring Boot application. Open your browser. Then search Spring Initializer in the browser. You can see the web link with start.spring.io. Click on it. In the Spring website, select the Gradle project. Check your Java version installed in the computer. Then select the proper Java version in the website. Update the group name and artifact name. Then change the description of the project. Here we are going to create a rental shop application. After you've filled everything click on the generate button. My application start download. After extracted the project I removed the zip file. I moved downloaded project to my workspace. This project is not a multi-module project, so we have to make it multi-module. To do that go to your project root folder and create a new folder. In this case I am creating a DVD folder. Then moved the SRC folder into the DVD folder. Then we have to create build.gradle in our DVD folder. To do that I am copy and paste build.gradle file from root directory to DVD folder. Please note I am not moving the file. I am duplicating the file into the DVD folder. Once this done, we are ready to open the project into the IntelliJ IDEA. Click on open button. Select the project we created. Then click open. And click on trust project button. Then waiting for the project to open. Open your DVD module and open build.gradle file. Then remove the version in the plugin section, because we don't want this. This is derived from our root build.gradle file. Then update the group name for the DVD module. I am giving the name as DVD. Open root build.gradle file. We don't want version because we will give the version to individual module. Cover the repository section with all projects. Because we need to use Maven Central for all modules. For now it is DVD module only. The remove dependency section and test section from root module build.gradle file. Then add configurations with annotation processor in the build.gradle file in the root. Because Spring Boot is working with annotation. We will go through annotation later.
Click on sync button. Open build.gradle file in the DVD module. Then remove the repository section. Then add boot jar section and enable it true. This is because we need to build and run DVD module. Open settings.gradle file. Then include our DVD module there. Then click on sync button. Now you can DVD directory change to real module. Wait for the indexing completed. Now seen that DVD directory change to DVD module. Now open SRC folder then open shop application java file. Now we can see the application build completed. And run button left side of the screen. Just click on that green run button. Now you can see application is building. And I can see build succeeded now. Our job is to create Spring Boot web application. To do that just update the dependency. I am changing Spring Starter to Spring Starter Web. Then press the sync button. Our application is ready now. Let's run the application once again. We can see that our application is running. You can see a note on the console, Tomcat initialized with port 8000. This means that this application is embedded with Tomcat server and running on the port number 8000. Our application seems running, so let's try it in the web browser. I am minimizing the IntelliJ idea. Let's open a window in the browser. And I'm entering localhost 8000. Now we can see an error page. We did nothing that is the reason we are getting this default page. This is the default starting page of application. Let's start work on a controller. I am opening my IntelliJ IDEA. This is our shop application class. This is a starting point of our application. I am mortifying this class. I am changing package of this DVD module. Let's open gradle.build. So I'm just changing rental.dvd. I right clicked on the shop application package. Refactor and rename. rental.dvd Let's change our shop application to DVD rental application. Let's run the application and make sure nothing is broken. Application runs successfully without any issues. So we can see application running on Tomcat with port number 8000. Let's open the browser again and verify application working core. 
Application running without any issues. Let's create a new controller class. I named this class as DVD Rental Controller. My first class I created. You may remember that we recreated an annotation processor at the beginning. So we can add an annotation to our controller class. Let me add a REST controller annotation in our DVD rental controller class. Next we have to add default endpoint mapping. To do that, let me add another annotation that is request mapping. Inside that, value equals backslash. Next we have to create a function. Public string show greetings. Let's return a value as welcome to DVD rental shop. In this function we had to mention the mapping type. I am creating this as get mapping. Let's run this application. Now we can see the correct response. Let's move our controller to new packet. Let's create a package and name it as controller. Let's move our controller class to controller package and make sure everything is working correctly. No issues we are safe now. Let's change the port now. Go to that application properties file inside resource folder. Then enter server.port equal 3000. We are running port number 3000 now. Our application working well on 3000 port. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for upcoming videos.